Hey guys, welcome back to another log. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to get some things done around my space and the apartment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that some of the things that you guys are going to see, you have seen already, but we're going to try to get that explained throughout today's video. If you enjoy motivational content like this, I would love to have you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. I'm going to be taking you along with me as I clean, organize, and touch base on redecorating some of those areas that we've talked about before. So over here, I kind of did something different with this, you guys. So as you guys know, we moved our lamps, our bedroom lamps downstairs to the living room. And the reason I did this is because we don't have a lot of light in our living room. It's been my favorite color for some time now, like blue and purple. Y'all, anything galaxy related, I really love it. Then I also just moved this plant down here too. Here's my little purse. I went ahead and put out my high school diploma because I really like it right there. I still haven't added my pictures to this picture frame because y'all, your girl is still trying to take some pictures and we're probably gonna get them printed off for right there. But I did go ahead and move this little shelf. Y'all look at all this clean laundry that we have to fold because right here, up in this space, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get, well you guys already know we're gonna be getting two chairs, which, yes, over here we have Jonah toys. We have our mirror right here. As you guys can see, I did go ahead and move that shelf. So In our kitchen, we have a sink full of never ending dishes, you guys. So the first thing that we're gonna do today is get the kitchen tackled. We're gonna organize, clean, and just wash the dishes. And then we're gonna be moving into the dining room to get that clean and organized. And I wanna kind of move it around because I was tired of it being this way. And I just wanted to do something a little bit different. On top of that, we're gonna be adding some new things to our dining room. So I just want to see the space transform before we get started with doing that. Here in our kitchen, I had to boil some water so that I could wash our dishes. I don't know what the deal is with the pipes, so every so often we have no hot water and it's kind of an inconvenience for us. So right now I'm just gonna boil some water so we can continue with cleaning the dishes. I did get the pegboard that I was talking to you guys about and Jake went ahead and hung it up. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it here throughout the video. So this pegboard is something that I've been wanting for a really long time and I saw it on Amazon and I just fell in love with it. So whenever the company reached out to me and asked me if I could do a review on it, I was super excited. And as I said with you guys, I know it doesn't look how it looks on Amazon, but the way that I have it, it is much needed like this and I really do love it. If I were to rate my Amazon find, I would rate it five stars because I absolutely love it and I do think it is something that any household can have and use, even if you have a regular dishwasher rack. Anytime that I have a lot of dishes like this that I have to wash by hand, I will always just take them out, put them to the side, and then I will just go in and clean our sink. Let me know down in the comments if this is something that you do too. I always thought that I did this and I was always being super cautious about my sink, but then I learned that other people do this as well. So I wanna know if you are one of those people. Here in our dining room, I took a different approach when it came to cleaning. I know you guys might see this and you might notice that I didn't take the usual route that I take and that is because our trash was completely full as you guys can see so I couldn't really clean exactly how I wanted to. I tried to take the trash out before I got started but the bag ripped really, really bad so I just let it be and I just continued to clean so I didn't get flustered.
Today I wanted to go ahead and get our dining room all clean because I want to rearrange it. My plan is to add a liquor station, you guys. I went to Olive Garden one time, had me one drink, y'all, and now I am at home trying to turn our dining room into a liquor room, okay? But everything is all good. We're going to create a liquor station and it's going to be so much fun. So we're going to get the dining room all clean so we can go ahead and move things around. Oh, I also haven't only gone to Olive Garden one time. If you guys, that is my favorite restaurant ever. I try to go there as much as possible. It was Jake Wynn and I's thing, but we haven't really done it a lot lately. But we did get to go there for our anniversary and it was really nice. Speaking of nice, it reminds me of whenever I had my baby shower at Olive Garden. It was one of the nicest things that I've gotten to experience. Although I desperately wanted to, today I'm not going to be able to finish the dishes because since our hot water wasn't working, you guys, I had to take so many breaks in between just to make sure that the water was boiling and I had hot water to wash the dishes. And if you're wondering, you guys know the water isn't on us. But for right now, we're just going to do things how we see fit and how we can get it done. So moving on to the steps, I'm just going to go ahead and get this laundry clean and organized. I'm sorry, it's already clean. But like my friend LaQuasia said, this is never ending and we have to get it done today, girl. Jaquen took these clothes to the wash house to get them all washed since we don't have our portable washing and dryer yet. I still do plan to get one, we just haven't been able to go ahead and get it since we've had other things happen. Thank you. 
upstairs, I just wanted to recap on unpacking some of my packages because I have some new things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And if you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you know that I have already shared with you some new things that we've gotten here on my blog, like the kids' name stamps that they have for their school projects. And we also got some lights for the boys' rooms that you guys are going to see later. And then we also got a new lighter for my candles, and I was so excited. The Amazon finds that we have today, I would have to rate all of them five stars because they are so amazing, you guys. Here I have a new electric lighter for my candles, you guys. Something that I've never used before and I was super stoked and happy to have it today because it's gonna make it a lot easier whenever I am lighting my candles. That way I don't have to use just a short stub lighter and then risk hurting my knuckles and also risk burning the side of the candle. Now I am not a candle expert, but I do know a few of them. And here in the future, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some new things that we're gonna be getting. But for right now, I just wanted to share my new electric lighter and a new setup that we have going on over here. Upstairs in the boys' room, we had everything all set up. If you guys did not see that video, I will have it linked down in my description box for you. So make sure you go check out that video. The only thing that we have added thus far is the lights, and then we also added a tent to the boys' room, and we got it all clean and organized, which you guys are gonna see that a little bit later. This isn't how the boys' room is currently. I just wanted to go ahead and get some things put together for them so they could have a bedroom because we still have so many other things going on right now. But if you were wondering, here's what the behind the scenes look like of my space before I get everything done. I know that I am kind of just jumping around from room to room, but that is how things have been while I've been trying to get things done behind the scenes and off camera and also taking care of my children. We get down to the beat. boys room I'm just going to go ahead and get everything straightened up we did add lights to the boys closet and this is what the boys call their gaming lights you guys I added them myself and I didn't do a perfect job at adding them but I am so in love with them you guys the boys love them too but I'm going to keep it real they are very distracting and if you are a viewer and this is bothering you I would like to direct you to my description box right now so you can go ahead and see that disclaimer because I do apologize for that so where, where do we go when everything feels like it just stays there? For the boys' bed, I am just making their bottom bunk because we wanted to originally use the whole bunk bed, but I'm just going to keep it real, you guys. And yes, I did smell that pillow because I thought Jonah peed on it, y'all, but he just spilled some juice on it. So I just wanted to go ahead and get rid of it. But back to the bed, you guys, I only made the bottom bunk because the boys don't use the top bunk. I originally thought about getting rid of it because since we don't use it, I wanted to get a day bed. But I had since changed my mind because I didn't want to go behind after what someone else had already done. our old dresser here in their bedroom you guys and this dresser drawer is from big lots and it has so many drawers i would have to rate this a five out of five you guys because i absolutely love it since it does have a lot of drawers the boys clothes doesn't necessarily fit all throughout the drawers so we do have to go shopping for them but i'm excited because shopping is one of my favorite things to do and i just can't wait to get them some new clothes anyways
here in the boys closet we have stored some things just until i get a, a good grasp on how i want everything to be i just have a few clothes and all their toys in there but everything is going good So here's Little Miss London room. We did move it back because she does like it better like this. So we probably won't be changing it anytime soon. Rather just adding some new things for her because we did have to switch some things up. Gonna be making her bed, which I wanna add. I do wanna get her a new bed as well. One that sits up a little higher. I have been looking at Ikea just to go, just so I know which direction I wanna go in. And I have found a bed that I really do love. So I'm gonna start saving and planning for that. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get her bed made and straighten up her room so it's all nice and pretty and squeaky clean just for my little Miss London. I'm so lonely. I think I'm crazy. Well, well, well. I think it's crazy. I think I'm so lonely. Alrighty, you guys that is the end of today's video i just want to share with you one more time how things look whenever we got started because whenever i come back we're going to be tackling some areas and i don't want to give too much future content away but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys whenever i come back and i share a brand new home tour bye